Good Monday morning, East Tennessee, and welcome to the Smokies. My name is David Aldrich, Chief Meteorologist of Captain Accurate Weather, a fun nickname coming to you by way of the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center, and this is Mountain Fun Life, guiding your adventure. If you're new to the Smokies, you've come to the right place. We're on Roku, Facebook Live, and YouTube, and we would encourage you to Facebook or share us with all your friends and neighbors as these platforms continue to expand. Big story today is the, uh, the weather. We're talking about the flood watches that run from now until Tuesday evening. Despite the fact that I see more rain Wednesday and Thursday, uh, these flood watches could be extended by the National Weather Service. How much rain can we expect over the next four days? How about three to four inches of rain with isolated five inch amounts? That's hard to take given the fact we had so much flooding in this area last week. Turn around, don't drown. That's always a good idea. And with wind advisories for the mountains, we could find gusts up to 50 miles per hour, which could also take down some trees with the saturated ground. Big story, obviously, is the rain. You can see it moving across, or at least not moving, but over areas of Mississippi and northern Alabama. That's what we're worried about. And with the flood concerns, it's not just here. It's not isolated to our area. We have flood watches from East Texas all the way into East Tennessee. Here's the movement of the rain. It's coming up from the south and west, and it's moving to the north and the east, much like it did last week. And we know what last week provided it was about over five and a half inches of rain in our area. But with the flooding concerns today, you can see illustrated here, whether it be McGee Tyson Airport or Gatlinburg. I want to show you as we expand the view, uh, this is one of those situations where the text, I think, tells somewhat of a story that might be worth showing. And this is, again, the flood watches uh, are going to be running until about 7 p.m. Tuesday night. Heavy rainfall expected today and tonight. And again, when you're talking about flood watches, uh, obviously it's not just one particular area, but they're anticipating two to three inches with locally higher amounts in the Smokies. I would suspect there could be some fours or even five inch amounts, so something we want to watch very closely. The rain, yes, it'll be with us. And when it's not raining, it's cloudy. These bright white clouds, the view from space, will just ring out like a car wash sponge. So we've got the potential for some heavy precipitation. Temperatures this morning are in the upper 30s uh, for Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge Airport, and Sevierville. Uh, temperatures, as of, let's see, about all, yeah, 8 o'clock, 39 degrees. Then we look into Newfound Gap. There's still a little bit of snow on the ground. Hard to believe, right? But that's what we're seeing here, about an inch, I believe we've got about an inch of snow still on the surface from the uh, Great Smoky Mountains National Park camera. Very interesting. And if you have family flying into McGee Tyson Airport, 44 degrees with some light rain, they've received about four hundredths of an inch of rain so far today. So that's where things stand. I want to take you through the future cast because where you see some areas in yellow would indicate where the rain is heaviest. And I think that will come into play later tonight and especially early Tuesday morning. Let's go ahead and show you as we go through forward in time. This is coming by way of the College of DuPage uh, right outside of Chicago. They have one of the computer models I like to look at. And this is from the Canadian model. It shows a lot of yellow around, say, later this afternoon for the drive home. So 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, heavier rain start to roll into town. Uh, and again, it's all about the rainfall rate, not just the fact that it's raining, but how hard is it raining. Then we go into early tomorrow morning. Look at the yellow that starts to emerge just before sunrise. This time frame is around, say, 5, 6 in the morning. 5 a.m. Uh, 10 Z. We're looking at those heavy rains in yellow. That's what I'm concerned about. We could see easily an inch, inch and a half fall in a short period of time that could cause some some flooding or flash flooding. And then you go into uh, say tomorrow afternoon, it starts to dry out. So we will see maybe a little bit of a break heading into Tuesday afternoon, even into Wednesday where the showers are lighter in nature, uh, still milling around. Let's take a look at our forecast for today. 53 degrees, periods of rain, heavy at times, and flooding possible. Mountain wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. We slide into tonight. The wind advisory expires at 7 p.m. 47 year low, more downpours, flooding possible, especially before daybreak, and that's something to take note of. And again, winds will not be that strong in Sevierville or even into Pigeon Forge. For the most part, it's really higher up that they'll feel those stronger wind gusts. And then we slide into your mountain fun life. Seven day forecast, 62 on Tuesday, 61 on Wednesday. Wednesday, fewer showers by midweek, and then Thursday we pick, could pick up another inch of rain at 63 degrees. And 63 on Thursday may be misleading because it comes early in the morning, and then we cascade down to 22 degrees. But by the time we get cold, uh, there won't be any precipitation. Clouds will be decreasing 
Thursday night. Friday, wouldn't you know it, Valentine's Day. Cold sunshine, highs around 40, and then a, more sunshine at 50 on Saturday. So those are the pick days of the week, Friday and Saturday, something to look forward to. But when it's that cold, there's good reason to, to cuddle your cutie, snuggle your sweetie. Uh, it'll be all, it'll be exciting, right? When, by the time you get to Friday, Valentine's Day, the sun will be back out. Hope you have a great day, and as always, enjoy your mountain fun life. Introducing the Captain Accurate Weather App. Keep your family safe ahead of the storm. It's not easy being accurate in East Tennessee. Focus on weather for the Smoky Mountain area and throughout East Tennessee. Available now, it's free. Just go to the App Store or Google Play. Also available at CaptainAccurate.com.